Have you ever wondered how Europe became the continent we know today? Our journey begins in the distant past, a time when Europe was a wild and untamed land. The Stone Age marked the dawn of civilization, with our early ancestors crafting tools from stone, hunting for survival, and slowly beginning to form the first rudimentary societies. As centuries rolled on, the Bronze Age came into being, introducing new materials and technologies. Bronze tools and weapons replaced stone, enabling more efficient farming, hunting and warfare. This period also saw the rise of trade and cultural exchange, as people began to traverse vast distances in search of resources and knowledge. But it was during the Iron Age that Europe truly began to take shape. Iron, stronger and more versatile than bronze, revolutionized society. It was a time of great change and innovation, a time when the seeds of Europe's future were being sown. Among these seeds were the ancient civilizations that would shape Europe's destiny. The Greeks, for instance, gifted us with democracy, philosophy, and the arts, forming the bedrock of Western culture. Their influence is still felt today, in our governments, our schools, and our daily lives. But no civilization has left a more indelible mark on Europe than the Romans. From the grandeur of Rome to the farthest reaches of the empire, their legacy is etched into the fabric of the continent. They gave us roads and aqueducts, laws and governance, and a common language that fostered communication and unity. Yet, as mighty as the Roman Empire was, it too had to fall. The once invincible power succumbed to internal strife, external threats and the relentless march of time. Its fall marked the end of an age, a period of history that had shaped Europe in countless ways. As the Roman Empire fell, a new era dawned on Europe, an era of change and transformation. But as we'll see, the seeds sown during these ancient times would continue to grow and flourish, shaping the Europe we know today. The fall of the Roman Empire marked the beginning of a complex period in Europe's history. But what was life like in the Middle Ages? As we delve into this era, we find that it was a time of significant changes and events. The power vacuum left by the fallen Roman Empire gave birth to a social and economic system known as feudalism. This hierarchical structure with the king at the top, nobles beneath him, knights under them and peasants at the bottom, shaped the dynamics of society. Meanwhile, Christianity spread across the continent, becoming the dominant religion. Monasteries and churches became centers of learning and refuge, preserving knowledge and culture during these tumultuous times. The church's influence was so strong it often rivaled and sometimes even surpassed the power of kings and queens. The Middle Ages were also marked by a series of religious conflicts known as the Crusades. These brutal campaigns were waged by European Christians who sought to reclaim the Holy Land from Muslim control. The Crusades not only impacted the religious landscape, but also had profound effects on trade and cultural exchange. Then, in the mid-14th century, Europe was hit by a catastrophe of unimaginable proportions. The Black Death, a deadly plague, swept across the continent, wiping out about a third of the population. This pandemic brought about social upheaval, economic crisis, and a questioning of religious institutions. But it wasn't all doom and gloom. During this era we also see the rise of monarchies and the birth of nations as we know them today. The Middle Ages were a time of great architectural achievements too, with the construction of magnificent cathedrals and castles. Literature thrived, with works like Dante's Divine Comedy and Chaucer's Canterbury Tales, reflecting the time's complexities. In many ways the Middle Ages were a crucible, a time of turmoil where new ideas and institutions were forged in the fires of change. The Middle Ages, a time of turmoil and transformation, set the stage for a period of great discovery and intellectual awakening. Imagine a time when art, science and human thought flourished like never before. Welcome to the Renaissance and Enlightenment. The Renaissance, meaning rebirth, is often seen as a bridge between the Middle Ages and modern history. It was an era of unprecedented creativity and intellectual fervor. Artists like Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo broke the shackles of traditional forms and perspectives, creating pieces that still leave us awestruck today. Yet, the Renaissance was not only about art. It was a time when human curiosity and the thirst for knowledge led to a surge in scientific discovery. Nicholas Copernicus challenged the age-old belief that the Earth was the center of the universe, laying the groundwork for the heliocentric model that we accept today. Meanwhile, in the realm of philosophy, the Renaissance was a time of profound questioning. Thinkers like Machiavelli and Erasmus challenged the existing notions of morality, politics and religion, 
sparking debates that still resonate in our contemporary discourse. As the Renaissance faded, the Enlightenment dawned. This was a time when reason took center stage, and the light of knowledge was seen as the key to progress. The Enlightenment was the age of thinkers like Immanuel Kant, who urged humanity to dare to know, and Voltaire, who championed freedom of speech. The scientific revolution, another hallmark of the Enlightenment, saw the likes of Isaac Newton and Galileo Galilei taking bold strides in understanding the natural world. Their work paved the way for the technological marvels we enjoy today. The Enlightenment was also the cradle of modern democracy. The notions of human rights, equality and liberty as advocated by philosophers like John Locke and Rousseau would inspire revolutions and shape the political landscapes of nations. The ideas birthed during the Enlightenment would soon be put to the test as Europe entered a period of revolution and war. What happens when the ideas of the Enlightenment clash with the realities of society, the age of revolution and war? As the 18th century waned, the winds of change swept across Europe giving rise to a period marked by upheaval, conflict, and transformation. Welcome to the age of revolution and war, where ideas clashed with realities and the old world order was upturned. The French Revolution, sparked by the spirit of the Enlightenment and the flames of discontent among the masses, was a seismic event that shook the very foundations of Europe. It was a time of liberty, equality, and fraternity, but also a time of terror, as the guillotine claimed the lives of both the highborn and the low. The revolution not only toppled the French monarchy, but also sent shockwaves through the continent, challenging the established norms of power and privilege, the turmoil of the French Revolution paved the way for the rise of one of history's most formidable military leaders, Napoleon Bonaparte. His Napoleonic Wars, a series of conflicts that spanned over a decade, reshaped the political landscape of Europe. His grand ambition of a unified Europe under French rule, however, met its end at the Battle of Waterloo, solidifying the United Kingdom as a global power and heralding a new era of balance of power politics in Europe. Parallel to these political upheavals, the Industrial Revolution was transforming Europe's economic landscape. The advent of mechanized production, the rise of factories, and the growth of the railway network brought about profound social and economic changes. It was an era of unprecedented progress but it also gave birth to a new set of challenges including urban squalor, worker exploitation, and stark class divisions. The age of revolution and war was a crucible in which the modern Europe we know today was forged. The political and economic transformations of this era set the stage for the Europe of the 19th and 20th centuries, shaping its nations, its institutions, and its people. The aftermath of war and revolution would lead Europe into an era of unprecedented conflict and change. As we move into the 20th century, Europe finds itself at the center of world events. But how did this shape the Europe we know today? The 20th century was a time of profound change and upheaval for Europe. The first half of the century was marred by two devastating world wars. The First World War, or the Great War, was a cataclysmic event that reshaped the political landscape of Europe, leading to the rise of new powers and the fall of old empires. Then came the Second World War, a conflict of unparalleled scale and devastation that forever marked the continent and its people. Following the end of the Second World War, Europe found itself divided by the Iron Curtain, a symbolic boundary that marked the start of the Cold War. This was a period of political tension and military rivalry between the Western Bloc, led by the United States and the Eastern Bloc, led by the Soviet Union. It was a time of espionage, proxy wars and the constant threat of nuclear annihilation. However, amidst the tensions and conflicts, the seeds of a united Europe were being sown. In the wake of the wars nations sought to foster cooperation and prevent future conflicts. This led to the formation of the European Union, a political and economic union that aimed to promote peace, stability, and prosperity in Europe. Over the years the EU has grown and evolved, becoming a powerful entity that shapes the policies and economies of its member states. The fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989 marked the end of the Cold War and the beginning of a new era for Europe. It symbolized the triumph of freedom over oppression, and the desire for unity over division. From the ashes of war and conflict, Europe has emerged as a beacon of peace, unity, and prosperity. The journey of Europe is the journey of humanity itself, a testament to our resilience, our creativity, and our ability to adapt and grow.